Sparks here with another tutorial for you. This time it's a two hoop, two hoop tutorial <laughs> looking at hoops on our arms. This is going to lead into a whole bunch of fun stuff. Consider this the foundation for what is to come. Let's dive on in. I know that you probably want to try this with just one, but I actually think it's fine to just dive on in with two and then if it doesn't work, scale it back. Yeah? So, we're going to hang the hoops on our arms. You want them to be about mid bicep. So if I show you up nice and close, whoop, drop that one down. If this is where my bicep starts and this is where it finishes, we're kind of going for mid bicep or a tiny bit above. Yep. We're going to pop it there on both sides and we're going to start with the hoops here. Sometimes it's really hard to know how to hold the hoops and people have been hooping for ages like you just grab it and push it. But I'm going to show you the exact hand position now. So if you've hung your hoops on your arms, I want you to get your thumbs and point them in towards your body and then place them underneath the hoop. So they're going to be like this. They're out here, they come in. Hello, just like this, yeah? Then your hands are going to come on top as though they're like quack, 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 yeah? This is how we're going to hold the hoops. Keep those elbows up, shoulders back and down, holding the hoops in just like a comfortable position. You can see my thumb is on the under edge of the hoop and my fingers are on the top edge of the hoop. From here, we're going to lift them up both at the same time. Try and make sure that they're not going on some skewy, weird angle. Try and just lift them straight up, really switch on your core here, super important. Turn on your bottom as well, everything strong and straight. Give the hoops a push, arms straight out to the side, up and down. If they start going out of whack, so say they're getting a bit weird, like this say, lock your arms and bounce up and down. So now it's just about the bounce in the body, the arms aren't moving, and that'll correct them. You can even begin to learn to arm hoop like this, yeah? and then strong and straight in the body and then the arms can push, push, push. Okay, let's go over that again with a little bit more troubleshooting. So, quack position, thumbs underneath the hoop, strong body, everything nice and strong, elbows in line with the shoulders, shoulders back and down, lift those hoops up. I might even try and show you from the side, maybe from this side. I don't know why I like facing that way better. Lift up, push down, strong, straight arms, up and down. And remember, we're just going down to about shoulder height. If they start getting out of whack, or your body starts going out of whack, or well, my body went way out of whack then, um, you could just go into this position, lock the arms out, and bounce through the legs. My um, soles of my feet are completely flat on the floor, my toes and my heels down. And I'm just bouncing up and down. If you stop your body moving, then you need to move your arms, pushing up. All right, back to those hoops. The other thing I'll say is just like, even if the hoop's coming towards you, avoid leaning away from it because everything's gonna go skewy. Just try and get strong and push it through or stop the hoops and start again. Off we go, push up and down. Strong body, strong body, strong body, strong body. Another thing that happens is we move our arms around and around. When you move your arms around and around, they're going to come in towards your head, crash into each other, and it's just going to be a big mess. If you're really, really struggling to get the two hoops together, that's totally fine. Some people just wing it and get them at once. Some people don't. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We can take it back to one hoop. Arm out to the side. Hook the hoop on. Really stay tall and straight and strong and practice with the other arm out as well. So we lift it up, give it a push. Practice this on one side, pushing up to neutral, up back to neutral. Neutral being straight in line with the shoulder. Okay, then practice the other side. Same thing again. Mid bicep, lift up, push down, up and down. Once you feel like you've got it, grab your second hoop and try, try, try for the two together. Huh. If they start going skewy, you can bounce your body. Have a little jump even sometimes helps, but lock out the arms. There we go. Whew. I don't know about you, but my shoulders are tired. 
good. Give them a little massage, give them a little squeeze and squidge. If you liked it, let me know. If you want more tutorials and you want to be pinged when they happen, please do subscribe below. Happy hooping. See you next time. Thank you.